Welcome to the world of angels. You know, the key to the world of angels is the number 91, which is the gematria of Melech, uh, uh, Malach. It's Melech with an Aleph inside. So a king with an Aleph inside is an angel, a Malach. This 91 is a propitious number in Judaism. It materializes all over the place. In its highest level, it's the word Amen. Aleph, Mem, final Nun. Everybody knows Amen. And when you say Amen, it equals all the prayers. It's the seal of approval. It's the final seal, amen. Equals the word, in a certain sense, ms. Amen and ms are equal. Anyway, 91 is found all over Judaism. Yud, hey, vav, hey, plus Adonoi, Adolf, Dalit, Nun, Yud, is 91. So when you say Adonoi, when you, because we don't pronounce the Yud, Hey, Vav, Hey, the totality is 91. These two names together. Yud, Hey, Vav, Hey is from Teferet, and Adonoi, uh, Adolf, Dalit, Nun, Yud, is from Malkus, and so it's a union of Teferit and Malkus. It's the lower union. Also, 91 is the word sukkah. Figure that one out. And 91 appears in many other phrases. It actually, when you say at the end of um, the, the uh, Yom Kippur service, Adonai Hu Ha Elohim. Ha Elohim is also 91. Or even if it's He plus Elohim, which is 86, that's 91. But even 91 can also be Elohim itself, which is 86 plus the five letters, which is 91. And in saying Adonai Hu Ha Elohim, Adonai, again, you're saying the name the, of the Aleph Dalet Nun Yud for the Yud Hei Varfei, so it's a combination name. You see? Of Adonai, because it's how you speak, it's a reading and the speaking is combined, that's 91. Who ha Elohim in ninety one? And so every time you say Amen, they bring it down. I didn't make this up. You're creating an angel, a Malach. The gematria of Malach itself is three hundred and sixty five, which is the the negative commandments, and it's also the days of the week, and it's also the gematria of my name, Alexander. So I have a hush for this, an inclination, a feel. For an angel, Melech. Also found in the word uh, amen, if you transform the mem by atbash, you get an a, a, a yud, it becomes ayin. Ayin is that transformation that we're looking to get into, the nothingness. So in a real sense, this angel seals us in the ayin, brings us out of ourselves. Amen, it's faith. Because you can do whatever you want. If you don't have faith, you've got nothing. So this 91, you 
you see. Even the two letters that comprise 91 and Aleph and a final Zede. The Zede, well, not final, the Aleph and Zede, they, they're harmonious letters. They're shaped the same way. With the slanted line in it. So these are just a few words about the creation of angels uh, from the word Amen, the number 91 itself. And obviously we're going to go from there. You see? And it's the world of angels. And if you want to say angels and you well, that's why when you when somebody says a blessing and you say amen you're higher than the person who said the blessing you've created an angel uh, uh, another 91 a malach for that blessing so the that's why it's brought down that the person who says amen is higher than the person who made the blessing and where are angels talked about, these are in the more esoteric writings, you know, not found necessarily so much. They're talked about like the, the you know, three men visited Abraham at the tent, but they don't tell you who. And there's some great secrets involved as you develop into this. And who's going to help you? I don't find this being how you, you need, you know, you need, who's going, to, who's, going, who's going to help you, lead you in? That's why you have to find it yourself. They're going to block you from this because this is a true mysticism. And let me just review a minute about the number 91, which is yud Hey vavke plus Adonai. And that's the major 91, and that's written like that, you know, yud Hey vav and then a final Hey, and within that Hey is a Adonai, a Aleph Dalad Yud Nun. And that's found in many prayer books. And 91 is the big, big number in Judaism. And it's the creation of a Malach. And we're entering the world of Malachim with the word Amen.